Thomas and the Sounds of Soda. It was a noisy day on the island of Soda. Engines puffed and chuffed, wheezed and whooped, and rattled and roared. Thomas was at Kidmas Sheds. Sir Topham had arrived on Edward. Thomas, I have a special for you. A great composer is coming to the island. He is going to write a special tune for a grand concert this afternoon. You are to collect the great composer from Knapford. Please take him round the island to hear the sounds of Sodor. Then he can write his special tune. Thomas's boiler bubbled. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. And Thomas shoved quickly away. Thomas clickety-clacked along the track. I must show the great composer the sounds of Sodor. But what are the sounds of Sodor? I can hear birds, animals, and the sea. These must be the sounds of Sodor. Just then, there came a wish and a whoosh. Percy and Emily puffed past. They were pulling trains of troublesome trucks. Hello, Percy! Hello, Emily! Hello, Thomas! Hello, Thomas! Percy and Emily were noisy. Thomas couldn't hear the birds, or the animals, or the sea. Cinders and ashes! How will the great composer hear the sounds of Sodor with all my noisy friends huffing and puffing? I know. I shall take the great composer to places where there aren't any engines. Then he will be able to hear the sounds of Sodor. Tom puffed into Knapford Station. The great composer was waiting. Hello, sir. I'm Thomas. I will take you to the sounds of Sodor. Wonderful. I will write my tune as we puff along. First, Thomas took the great composer to a beautiful stream. Sir, here are the sounds of Sodor. The great composer listened. The water in the stream gurgled and gushed. Then there was a loud huff. It was Gordon, pumping his pistons. A tune popped into the great composer's head. Hello, Thomas, my friend! Thomas wasn't pleased to see Gordon. What are you doing here, Gordon? You should be on the main line. I thought I'd take the pretty track. But now the great composer can't hear the sounds of Sodor. Thomas puffed quickly away. <laughs> Next, Thomas took the great composer into the whispering woods. Sir, here are the sounds of Sodor. The great composer listened. The leaves rustled and the birds sang. Then there came a rattle and a clatter. It was Mavis pulling flatbeds full of logs. A tune popped into the great composer's head. Uh, <laughs> rattle, clatter, 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 rattle, rattle, clatter. Hello, Thomas, my friend. Thomas wasn't pleased to see Mavis. What are you doing here, Mavis? Why aren't you at the quarry? The quarry is closed for the rest of the day. But now the great composer can't hear the sounds of Sodor. Thomas chucked away. Oh, my. There must be somewhere I can take the great composer where there won't be any other noisy engines. Then an idea flew into Thomas's funnel. The quarry! Mavis said it was closed. I'm sure there won't be any engines there. Thomas chuffed quickly into the quarry. James was in a side. He saw Thomas and was worried. The quarry was quiet. At last! Here are the sounds of Sodor, sir! 
The great composer listened. But there aren't any sounds at all. Then there was a loud whistle. It was James. A tune came into the great composer's head. <laughs> Hello, Thomas. Thomas wasn't pleased to see James at all. What are you doing here, James? The quarry is closed. Stop whistling, James. The great composer can't hear the sounds of Sodor. Then there was trouble. Thomas, look out! Thomas stopped just in time. <gasps> My special tune! Thomas felt terrible. I'm sorry, sir. It's all my fault that you've lost your music. But how did you write a tune? Those noisy engines spoiled the sounds of Sodor. But your noisy friends sounded wonderful, Thomas. So my noisy friends are the sounds of Sodor. Of course. But now it is too late. The concert will have to be starting very soon, and we have no tune. Then an idea bubbled in Thomas's boiler. Maybe it's not too late. James, will you help me, please? Of course I will, Thomas. Race to the Whispering Woods. Mavis, will you help me, please? I'd be happy to, Thomas. Then Thomas chuffed to at her station. Gordon, will you help me, please? Yes, Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Can we help, too? Yes, please, Emily. Follow me. Thomas and his friends puffed into the town hall square. Mr. Topham Hack was surprised. Thomas, what are you and all your friends doing here? Sir Topham, I am sorry to keep you waiting, but I think it will be worth the wait. We present the Sounds of Sodor! was a very special tune. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without Thomas. And I couldn't have done it without my noisy friends. Oh.